Well, joining us now is Aroma Downey, who's the actress and producer, and uh, so great to have you with us, uh, Aroma. And uh, you're here to talk about a, a great new film that's uh, coming out very soon, uh, Son of God. And maybe if you could start out by just giving us a little description of the movie. Absolutely. Uh, Son of God will be released February 28, 2014, one week before Lent begins. Excellent. And it is the story of the life of Jesus. Uh, it begins at the Nativity, the birth of our Lord, and it goes right through to the Ascension. And it's a beautiful um, bringing to life on screen of, of the Gospel. Um, it stars Diogo Morgado, who is a wonderful Portuguese actor who plays the central role of Jesus. Okay. I myself stepped into the role of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Um, we filmed it in Morocco. It has mm -hmm. exotic locations, amazing special effects, and a score by the Oscar-winning Hans Zimmer. Oh, yeah. So it's epic. Okay. And Jesus has not been on the big screen for a decade. Last time we saw him was yeah, in Passion. Yeah. But prior to that, it's been 50 years since the greatest story ever told was told. And the full life of Jesus had a big screen uh, experience. So we're very excited because we know that the movie will be seen by believers and people of faith. But it will also be seen by people who's, who maybe have fallen away from the sure, church and sure. it's an opportunity to bring the stories alive um, uh, through storytelling. Yeah, and this falls on the, the heels of the Bible series too, which did so well. Um, and was this something that you had in mind when you were doing that you know, or just when, came about? Well, we, when we were filming the Bible series, we knew that the Jesus narrative was especially strong. Of course, the story is so beautiful, and um, the actors that we had gathered for that segment were working very harmoniously together. Um, the series, in spite of people telling us not to do the series, um, they said, oh, you're mental to be doing that <laughs> show. Who's going to watch the Bible as a drama? Nobody's ever done it before because it's so complicated. You'll never get everybody to agree with each other. Um, it'll just be divisive. And we said, well, just felt that the call had been placed in our hearts to do it. Um, and we moved forward, the we being my husband, Mark Burnett, and myself. And, um, and we decided to, to bring it to the screen yeah, we, we decided to make the Bible series, and I think at the time there was a lot of people in Hollywood thought we'd lost our minds, um, that it was very risky, it was a bold move. We were um, pouring our own resources, our time, our efforts, our reputations into it. But for us, it wasn't just about a work, you know, it wasn't just a job, it was what we believe. It was yeah. uh, bringing the scriptures to life. We've all been commissioned to spread the gospel and this as movie makers was a way that we felt we could do it. Uh, we were very gratified, enormously relieved and terribly excited to know that it was such a success. 100 million people yeah, nice. showed up for the series. Extraordinary, right? Yeah. And you can imagine all across Hollywood, you know, the following day, everybody suddenly going, anybody got a Bible script? <laughs> um, you know, because yeah, in yeah. success, it's clearly there's an appetite for it. Clearly there's an audience for it. But when we were filming the series, we knew we had something very special in the New Testament. We knew we had something very special in, in the story of Jesus. And we wanted to create a stand-alone experience to bring that to the big screen. We have additional footage that didn't make it into the series because okay. we had to condense it. Yeah. So we have repurposed the footage we had. We have added new footage, um, re-edited, and to see it on the big screen is in, in community is very, very powerful. It's very, very poignant. And I believe that it's an opportunity to emotionally engage with a whole new generation yeah. of, of youth, perhaps, who don't know the story yeah. of Jesus, but who will be impacted by seeing this movie, and hopefully their hearts will be opened. Yeah, and, it, and it's, a, it's a great way to revisit it, as you say, 50 years since the greatest story ever told, and 
you know, even the Ten Commandments. Are, these are the types of movies that you don't see anymore. That's and, right. Uh, That's right. Yeah. And I think that for many of us, you know, we've we've become a very sophisticated TV yeah. and film going um, population, aren't yeah. we? There's like such a wealth of things that we could choose to go and see. Yeah. But there's something about seeing the story of our of our own savior, of our own faith brought to life on the screen that I think just refreshes and refuels your own faith and mm -hmm. particularly at the beginning of the Lenten season yes. to have an opportunity to see this when hearts and minds are being drawn back to reflect on the year that you've lived and the opportunity for renewal that comes through the Easter season. Yeah the possibility to begin again for all of us. And I know that anyone who goes to see Son of God will leave the theater um, with their hearts on fire. They will fall in love again or for the first time with Jesus. That's great. And um, again, the um, date? The date of the movie is February 28th. It's called Son of God. And I just really ask that our, that our Catholic community watching will will join us in making a lot of noise you know as christians we we are very quiet i yeah. think sometimes and and i'm out there you know um trying to just make a lot of noise for <laughs> for the pro for the projects and i just would really ask um for fellow catholics to to let each other know through Twitter and Facebook and email and all the different ways that we have to communicate with each other and to encourage the, you know, our kids. We worked very hard to get a PG-13 rating okay. for Son of God so yeah. that you can bring your families with you. And I just think it's important that everybody knows this story. This is, this is our story. And, um, and it will open February 28th. Awesome. We thank you so much for being here, Roman. Continued success in what you're doing. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. It's, uh, it's such a pleasure. You know, it's, uh, there's, there's nothing like um, sharing God's grace. Okay. I had the, the good fortune to be an angel for a That's decade, right. untouched by an angel. And right. it was a privilege to be the messenger then. The message was God's love. It's the same message in the Bible series, that was a love story. And it's the same message in Son of God. It is a love story. He loved us so much that he sent Jesus for us. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing. That's a great way to end. Thank you, Roman. Thank you.